I've not seen such bravery. It never ceases to amaze me how many times I've heard someone say, I've heard of Myst, but I've never actually played it. Then again, I don't understand a lot of things in this crazy world. But while I can't stop people from watching Little Honey Boo Bitch in the making, maybe I can help fix this whole Myst problem. There aren't many games I would consider to be must-play games. Just because I like a game doesn't mean it's a good game for everyone. However, if I had an extremely recommended games list, Myst would be way up near the top. Myst was released in 1993 on CD-ROM. Then it was released again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and, again. and even though you have the option to play it on almost anything you own, there's really only one version you should even consider playing. Myst is a point-and-click adventure game filled with exploration and puzzle solving. The setting and sounds can be immensely creepy, and the game has an amazing atmosphere from beginning to end. The basic story is that you've stumbled upon a book called Myst. Its origin, author, and date is unknown, but it describes this mystical island. Uh... When you reach the end of the book, the world around you fades away, and suddenly you're on the island that the book described. And that's all you get. That's the story. Even the user's manual doesn't spoon-feed you anything. The storyline is actually incredibly deep, but you're left to figure it out by yourself. The island is more expansive than it seems, and everything needs to be inspected, and more importantly, recorded. Myst is a game that almost requires you to take notes. Everything you encounter should probably be written down, as you try to uncover the island's secrets. What's that you say? Too much effort? Well, suck it up! If you've ever fallen into a book before, then you know just as well as I do that there's no cell phone or internet service. You better just hope you brought a pencil. Besides, there's nothing like the feeling of coming across a puzzle just to realize that you already have the solution written down. Myst was one of the most immersive and rewarding gaming experiences that I've ever had, and I still pride myself on the fact that I beat it without any guides or walkthroughs. But for it to be immersive, you have to actually put some dedication into it. That means no buying the 3DS version and playing it on the couch while you watch some crap on TV. So after all this talking about Myst, I've decided that I'm not even giving you a choice. Go out and play one of the best games I've ever played, and thank me for it later. Or we're no longer friends. <laughs>